What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and another video. Um, today's the 14th of June, it's a Monday and it's imperative because in about half an hour I'll be picked up to go to hospital because it's surgery day. <laughs> Six years I've waited and it's been a long time. I'm nervous, very nervous actually. My stomach's in knots. It'll be very small knot afterwards but it'll be still be a knot regardless. A massive knot in my stomach. It's tension and I feel flustered a bit. I'm gonna open this door actually, let a bit of, uh, let a bit of air in. Just go out and shower, you know, when you get shower sweats. You know, the illicit, uh, infamous shower sweats, especially the uh, Mount Everest size frame. But yeah, it's a uh, surgery day. I'm excited and pumped. Uh, so I'm still gonna take you with me. I'm still gonna take you along with me. Um, I'll next check in with you when I'm on the ward, um, let you know what they've said, what preparations I've gotta go through. And I'll speak to you then, so. Until then, I'll speak to you in a bit. Welcome back. Um, John again, obviously. Uh, yeah, so I've finally been admitted to Bradford Royal Infirmary. Um, I've seen the team, the nurse, took bloods, blood pressure. I filled in my consent form, which was liberating. I went to discuss through all, all the risks. He was a really nice guy who just come to see me now. Discussed exactly what, what they do how they do it, um, aftercare, and just ex exactly to the T of what they were gonna do. It was really, really detailed and I was really impressed. So I've been put on the afternoon list. I am, obviously, there's a lady before me, so I'm just waiting to go down. I've been told to put my stockings on by the lady. I'll just show you. So I've got some lovely white stockings here. I'll show you a little video of them on now. I've got a nice little TV here, I'll just show you that now. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'm just waiting to go down now. Um, I think my consultant who was doing the surgery, Dr. May, I've not seen for a couple of years, he's coming to see me soon. Um, I'm excited, I'm nervous, and I'll, I'll keep you up to date on what, what, what everything's going ahead. So I'll be in touch after, or I'll just be in touch just beforehand, and I'll let you know exactly what's going down. Um, I'll ho hopefully speak to you before I go down and show you my lovely gown and stockings. Uh, but if I don't, I'll speak to you when I get back from theatre. So until then, I'll see you in a bit. Also, the, the nurse was kind enough to uh, give me some um, underwear that I've got to change into for surgery. And they brought me a dishcloth. So yeah, I'm prepped, ready for surgery. I've got my stockings on, my flannel dishwashing, a dishcloth underwear, my nice robe. I'm all banded up so people know who I am and where to go. So now I'm just waiting. So until I come out of surgery, I'll see you later. Hi guys. Oh my god. Uh, I'm out of theatre. Theatre took longer than expected. I don't know why yet. I've not spoken to the to the team yet. But um first thoughts on coming round the pins six out of ten, but the the gas retention is it's brutal. They pump your belly full of gas so they can work easier. But it is it's highly uncomfortable and almost feels painful, which I think it could be as well, but the nurse said that um it can it's it can come out either end. By belching or trumping I guess. But yeah it's it sucks at the minute. I don't I feel utterly garbage I don't feel well at all 
I keep having waves of sickness. You know, I kind of expected not to feel on top of the world, but the gas thing is, I suppose everybody would be different as well, but it's, it's properly brutal. And I'm not enjoying it one little bit. I feel like I can't breathe properly. Like, you know, when you're breathing and you need to take that one big breath. You know that, that one big one? Well, I can't do that a minute. It's, it's, you know, I've asked them if I can get up and walk and they said it's a bit early doors. My blood pressure's high, but she's, she's okay with it because she thinks it's just from surgery, the anxiety, the, the gas, the pain. So yeah, at the minute, I don't feel too good. Um, I know I'll feel better shortly, but as a rule, I just don't feel too good at all. I've not, the consultant hasn't been down to speak to me yet, so I don't know if, you know. It, it just, everywhere I've spoke to so far said it's gone okay. So I just wonder why it took longer than expected. So um, until I know a bit more, I'm gonna get some rest and try to get rid of this horrible gas retention thing in my my side but yeah uh cheers for watching and sticking around and i'll update you once i feel a little bit better so i'm gonna try and get some rest so i shall see you in a bit cheers hi guys um <clears throat> i'm sorry it's so dark and I'm sorry it's so late but i finally just feel a bit more like myself i'm still in a lot of pain the gas my god i did get warned about the gas but the gas is so brutal. I've had high blood pressure and my heart rate's quite high over the past few hours. And um, it was fine pre-surgery before I went down to theatre. I think it might be just because of anxiety and a bit of like pain and worry and stuff. But it's quite worrying when because I'm hooked up to the the monitor at all times. I've got like pads on that hook up and it, it traces my heart rate. What I can say is that the team here have been extraordinary and I want to thank these guys on Ward 11 at Bradford Royal Infirmary for just going above and beyond to help me feel relaxed and at ease and they're really explaining everything, the little thing they're going to do and um, when, when, I, when I got right into surgery and they put me to sleep I had one cannula in my hand and I woke up and I had one on the back of, underneath my wrist. And I don't know what that was for, but I got back to the ward and I did feel utterly terrible. And then I came, I came round a bit and the pain from that other cannula was excruciating. Don't know why, but I said to him, you're gonna, you're gonna have to take it out. And within five minutes, somebody came and, and then removed it from me and Every time I've pushed my buzzer, somebody's been here in, God, 10 seconds. So the care I'm receiving here is, is second to none and I, I've got nothing but praise for them um, here because I'm having my procedure done through the NHS. So it feels weird to be sat here knowing that I've had it done. I still feel a bit ropey, and, but I am excited and I'm, I feel a little bit better than I did earlier. I've just ask, asked him to unhook me from everything apart from my drip just so I can have a bit of a walk around because a few friends and everybody's told me that walking around is probably the best thing to, to, to help with the gas. So I'm going to do that now. And then I'm going to try and get some sleep. So I'll let you know how I am in the morning. So again, thanks for watching. It really means a lot to me and hopefully it helps a lot of other people out as well. So until then, I'll speak to you in a bit. What's going on everybody? Um, it's the day after I had my gastric sleeve done yesterday. I know I took some video, you'll probably see where I wasn't quite myself. Um, quite entertaining listening to them back. Uh, but yeah, today's a, a new day, the time's 10 to 12. I didn't sleep much at all last night. I was up and down with pain and I was up and down with pain, the gas. So if you are thinking of getting this done, and I, I suppose wherever you go, whichever NHS private abroad, then just be prepared for the gas pains because they are horrible and I've really suffered with them. Pains up here in my collarbones and I've not had anything to drink now for 
two days. I've been on IVs, keeping me hydrated. This morning, well, it was, no, I was not, about an hour ago, one of my surgeon, the team from the surgeons, came up and my dietitian and told me I can start on water. This is about 200 mil and I've got to drink about 200 mil every hour if I can. Started this at 11, it's now 10 to 12. Uh, just little sips. I'm waiting for some more pain relief because I'm in a lot of pain, I don't know why. So they're gonna hook me up some tramadol to the IV just to take that edge off, maybe get some sleep as well. Um, later on, if I do okay on the water, then they're gonna change it to milk. I've got this thing that the dietitian gave me. It's stage one. And this explains stage one starting on fluids. You must keep to fluids only for the first three to four weeks after weight loss surgery. All drinks should be smooth with no bits or lumps. So it gives me a grid of what nutritional drinks I can have. And in group B, I can have other drinks allowed. Um, I've got to drink three pints of nutritional drinks and one pint of other drinks per day. Um, I did have it wrong and thinking I'd be a, a week on clears and a week on runnies, but this says I can go straight to yogurt drinks, pouring yogurt, probiotic drinks, milk, semi-skim milk, meal replacement drinks, example, energy shake, Complan, Slim Fast, Celebrity Slim, uh, meal replacement soups, which I ordered the other day, I've got 20 of those coming, um, obviously protein shakes. Um, slim fast stuff like that. Um, in the other drinks that are allowed, there's no added sugar squash or cordial. Still water, flavoured flavored if preferred, but with no added sugar. Oxo, Bovril and Marmite drinks. Thin soup, example, cream of tomato. Tea and coffee with no sugar and fruit juice, but not more than one small 150 ml glass per day. The clear liquid thing is a bit of a myth because my dietitians come around and said, you know, once I'm home, maybe tomorrow or the day after, I can go straight onto my thin soups I've got at home and I can even add skim milk powder to them, so. But yeah, I'm feeling okay. I feel a little bit out of it. And, like, I'm still in a lot of pain and, because I can't wait to get this IV of Tramadol up just to take the edge off. I'm gonna try and get this last bit of water down and check back in with you later. So I just what I wanted to update you. So as soon as I was that out of it yesterday, because. I don't know what I was saying. I was in a bad way. But yeah, today's a new day. I do feel better than I did yesterday, obviously. I'm expecting to feel a little bit better tomorrow. So if I don't speak to you later, I'll, I'll speak to you tomorrow and let you know how I feel three days after, so. So yeah, until then, I'll speak to you in a bit. Just quickly before I go, I have a reducing diet I was on for two weeks. Yesterday, while I was waiting to go down to surgery, I don't know if I've said this in my previous clips when I was out of it. But when I started this journey, I was about 27 and a half stone. Anyway, I saw some scales yesterday while I was waiting to be taken down to theatre. So I snuck over and jumped on them. It said 164 kilos. So I jumped on the scale, 25 stone, 25 and a half stone, roughly. When I got weighed at the pre-op, I was 26 stone, just over 26. And when I started it, I think I was about 27 and a half. So I've lost two stone already, and I've not, you know, puts me in good stead. I've not even started the, my gastric sleeve diet yet, so. So yeah, two stone. Don't know where that's come from, like, must be me gob. You know, I'm always running it. Anyway, just thought I'd let you know, two stone down already. Right do, see you in a bit. Good morning, everybody. Um, I think today is day three. Probably as you can tell, I, I feel a lot better. I'm in a lot of pain though, and that worries me a little bit, but I'm a little bit of a worrier anyway. Getting a lot of gas retention. Get up, up here in my shoulders are painful, but that's because of the gas. Um, last night and today, I was able to have some milk. Um, so they just told me to Just take little sips, don't block my new stomach up. So yeah, I've been in hospital three days, it's been rough. There's no way I'm gonna lie to you all about it. It's been rough. The nights have been pretty terrible. I mean, everybody's gonna be different. I've heard stories of people um, having an easy ride and it being okay and not so bad for some and some bad for the others. But for me, it's been quite, quite intense at times. Um, but I think today I'll be going home. 
and to start my new life. We'll see about that. When I get home, I'll, I'll get back on the camera and I'll break everything down over what's happened over the last few days. So until then, I shall speak to you in a bit. Uh, how do everybody? Uh, so this is my final vlog from the hospital. I'm being allowed to go home today. Uh, my spasms have calmed down a lot. I'm back on my feet, I'm dressed. I'm nervous for, I do apologize, I still have a lot of gas retention and stuff. Um, I'm nervous now. I suppose the real work starts now. Um, I'm ready for it. I'm ready to go for it. Um, I'm still only on milk at home. I've got some protein and I've got some meal replacement soups. So yeah, I'm really looking forward. So this lady's just here to give me some wet wipes. Thank you, my dear. Is it okay? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. I've given you about four. That's perfect. That's all right. Yeah, it's totally fine. So yeah, she just came to give me some wipes. Uh, so yeah, my time is here is done. It all went smoothly, it all went right. <clears throat> so yeah, um, I will do one more sign off video when I get home, just to weigh everything up and put it into context. If anybody's got any questions, please leave them below in the comments. Subscribe below as well. See my journey this time, and you're gonna see me at three months, six months, nine months and 12 months and see how it's working for me. So until next time, this is John for Free The Eyes Drones and I'll see you in a bit. Good morning, everybody. It's John here and <clears throat> this is my third day at home and I'm just getting back to a little bit of routine. Uh, I'm still in a lot of pain. Everybody will be different on this procedure. I'm happy to be home. I'm sleeping okay. In fact, for the past two nights, I've slept all the way through without even waking up once. And that's unheard of for me because I'm up every hour at loo. I'm doing my best to get fluids down. Fluids, it's a lot of fluids that I struggle with. Um, even getting water down is a bit tough, but I'm trying my best to get as much fortified and nutrients in me as possible. Um, yesterday I managed a couple of tablespoons of tomato soup, thinned down with milk and some milk powder. And because it was warm, maybe my stomach wanted it, uh, accepted it a little bit more. I've been sent home with some blood pressure tablets because my blood pressure was high. They did say that would come down and my doctor would review it in two weeks and hopefully take me off that, so I'm hoping that's the case. I've got some Adcal, their vitamins, they're dissolvable in water, one in the morning, one at night. They've given me some stomach settling dissolvable things on my tongue and some ibuprofen, or whatever you call them. But I do have in the cupboard some tramadol and morphine if I need it. Um, I've only needed it once so far since coming home, so that's a good thing, I think. Incisions are bruised a bit. Um, and they're, I never felt them for the first few days, but now I can feel them, they're a bit sore and tender, but I suppose that's to be expected. I do appreciate you watching this video. It really, really does mean a lot to me. Um, if you can subscribe to the channel, that'd be so, so awesome. If you can leave a like and a comment, if anybody's going through it um, and wants to know what it's like on the NHS, then please get in touch and we can discuss it out. I'm always available in the comments and I'm always definitely engaged in other people's stories so please get in touch that'd be awesome so yeah until three months i will see you in a bit thank you so much